Welcome to the spoken tutorial on kernel memory allocation. In this tutorial, we will learn how to dynamically allocate the kernel memory using kmalloc function and kfree function to free the memory allocated by kmalloc. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox 5.2, Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0 hyphen 31 generic, gedit text editor. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language, basics of Linux kernel. If not, then Go through the C, C++ and Linux spoken tutorials on this website. Linux handles memory allocation by creating a set of memory objects of fixed sizes. It will dynamically allocate portions of memory to programs at their request. When the memory is no longer needed, we have to free it for reuse. Let us see the commonly used kernel's functions to allocate its memory. KMALloc and VMALloc functions dynamically allocates the kernel memory. KMALloc is similar to the MALloc function in C programs. KM alloc allocates contiguous physical memory and virtual memory. VM alloc allocates contiguous virtual memory but not the physical memory. Go to the device driver folder in the desktop which we have created earlier. Here I have created a directory named memory allocation. In this directory, I have saved simple underscore driver dot c file, user dot c and make file. I will use these files for demonstration. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing Alt, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Go to the directory where memory allocation is saved on your system. Press Enter key after every command. Type gedit space simple underscore driver dot c. I have used the same file simple underscore driver dot c which we used earlier. In this file, I have used the km alloc function to allocate the memory. Let me explain the code. Here we have to include the slab dot h kernel header file. The km alloc function is declared in the slab.h header file. To use the string functions in the driver, include the string.h header file. Here, the ptr character pointer is defined with null value. We will use it to store the address return by the kmalloc function. In the initialization function, we have used the km alloc function. Use the dynamic allocation way when you don't know how much memory will be needed. Now, let us see the prototype of the km alloc function. Size specifies the size of memory to be allocated. Flag denotes the behavior of km alloc call. The two most widely used flags are gfp underscore kernel and gfp underscore atomic. It returns 
the virtual address of the first page allocated. If there is an error, it returns null. Here, KM alloc dynamically allocates 8 bytes of the kernel memory. We will use this allocated kernel memory space as a buffer. It is also referred to as a virtual device. GFP underscore atomic flag will not put the current process in sleep state if memory is low. This flag is mostly used in the interrupt handler to allocate memory. The KM alloc returns an address which can be used to store any type of data. Here, we can typecast it to store the data of respective data types. I have typecast it as a character pointer to store a string in it. The PTR contains the start address of the allocated kernel memory. Depending upon its success or failure, the corresponding messages will be printed. Open function will execute when a user program opens the device. We will use a strcpy function to copy the data to the buffer. Here, the strcpy function will copy a string iitb to the buffer. This message will be printed in the kernel log level. Let us see the kernel function to release the dynamically allocated memory. As we allocated the kernel memory dynamically, it's our responsibility to release it. We have to use the kfree function in the exit function as shown here. The kfree function is used to free the memory allocated by km alloc. PTR specifies the address returned by km alloc. It is mostly used in the cleanup function and avoids the leakage of memory. Here, the kfree function will release the memory whose address is stored in the pointer. It will avoid the wastage of the kernel memory as its memory or stack is limited. Now, PTR is a dangling pointer as it points to freed memory. If you try to access it again, the program could crash and may lead to memory fault. To avoid such problems, assign the null value to it which is a valid address. Save and close the file. To compile the program, we have to create a make file. Type gedit space make file. Type the code as shown or you can use the downloaded make file. Save and close the file. Now, let us see a simple user program which will open and close a device. Type gedit space user dot c. I have used the same user program user dot c which we used earlier. This program opens and closes the new underscore device using respective system calls. When the user program tries to open a device, the specified data will copy to the buffer. Save and close the file. Let us compile the driver. Type sudo space su to be a super user and then type the system password. Type make space all. Clear the screen. Now load the driver into the kernel. Type insmod space simple underscore driver dot ko. Clear the screen. Let's see the loaded print key messages.
type DMESG space pipe space grep space simple underscore driver. Here, this message shows that the KM alloc function executed successfully. Clear the screen. Now, let us compile the user program to open the device. Type gcc space hyphen c space user dot c. Type gcc space hyphen o space user space user dot o. To execute the program, type dot slash user. The output shows that the device file opened and closed successfully. Clear the screen. Let's see the print k messages from the open function of a driver. Type dmesg space pipe space grep space simple underscore driver. This message shows the IITB string is stored in the allocated kernel's memory. Clear the screen. Now, let us unload the driver. Type rmmod space simple underscore driver dot ko. To see the unloaded printk messages, type this dmesg command. This message indicates that the kfree function releases the memory. Clear the screen. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to dynamically allocate the kernel memory using km alloc function and kfree function to free the memory allocated by km alloc. As an assignment, open the simple underscore driver dot c file. Allocate the memory space using km alloc in the driver as per your choice. Store a different data to the kernel buffer. Load the driver and then execute the user program. See the output using dmesg command and then unload the driver. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. This is Usha signing off. Thanks for watching.